Hi everyone, it's Dana and I am so excited that coming up on May 10th is our next Invisible Illness support group meeting. So I am um, very much looking forward to seeing all of you and meeting new faces, hopefully. Um, I wanted to share a preview with you about what we're going to be talking about at our next meeting. As you guys know, we do like to have just a little bit of an agenda, nothing that we strictly follow, but just to start a discussion. And this time in May, we're going to be talking about treatment options for invisible illnesses. And I know that each of you has been on your own journey and each story that you guys share with us is so unique. And um, as a healthcare practitioner myself, working with individuals daily with invisible illnesses, I see um, all different things and journeys that people have been on. And as I started putting together the slides for our next meeting and kind of organizing our thoughts and kind of um, how we can progress through our agenda for that day, I started thinking about the journey that a lot of you guys have been on and what I hear so frequently. And I think it reinforces to me why it's so important that we share our experiences as to treatments that have worked or things that have not worked and to share the journey that we've been on because um, invisible illnesses are still so much of a mystery, right? And the more we can educate the public, the more we can educate our family, the more we can educate our doctors even about options that are out there and what the symptoms are that you are dealing with and things that have worked, maybe uh, ultimately we can get you the help that you need faster. And this cycle that people get on um, tends to be this really long drawn out cycle until you can get to a diagnosis and until that happens really there isn't a lot of interventions being done to help you and um i i was just working on this slide right now about how symptoms begin and when your invisible illness symptoms first began it's scary you don't know what it is um there's a lot of unnerving symptoms that come along with these invisible illnesses. And sometimes it results in a trip to the emergency department. Sometimes it's getting into your primary care physician right away. And ultimately it ends up with referrals to specialists and tests and medication trials and all of these things. And when those start to fail and all of those tests, your scans come back normal, your labs come back normal, then it's, well, now what do we do? And so being aware of what those, well, now what do we do options um, can help get you and your fellow invisible illness warriors the help that they need sooner, um, whether it be vestibular rehabilitation, whether it be working with a mental health counselor, whether it's working with neurooptometry. There's just so many things out there. And I think the more we talk about them and increase awareness of what options are available for people with invisible illnesses, the better we can work together to get everyone the help that they need. So at our next meeting, come prepared, ready to discuss your journey. Let's talk about all the things that you've tried, all the wives, old wives tales that we've heard about things that we can do. Um, and sh let's be ready to share what has worked and what hasn't worked. I can't wait to hear um, kind of what's going on. I like to hear more about the alternative things that um, maybe are not so mainstream, but have worked for you. Um, because maybe there's somebody else out there where that option would benefit them also. So remember, our meeting is coming up on Tuesday. Oh my goodness, I had to think of the day. Tuesday, May 10th at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. We can either meet in person at the clinic. I will be here, so you're more than welcome to show up live and join me. Or we will have a Google Meet link coming out um, if you're interested. So please contact me if you're interested in attending um, either way, in person or virtual. As always, I am looking forward to seeing all of you and connecting with each of you at our next Invisible Illness Support Group meeting. Until then, stay well and reach out if there's anything that I can do to support you before then. You guys take care and I'll see you on May 10th.